Hey everybody and welcome back to another video where we're going to give you a lot more insight into one of our key features, which is QoS. To begin, let's talk about the purpose of QoS. We know that when lag happens, congestion and queuing on your network is the most likely cause. The purpose of QoS is to reduce this congestion and keep your traffic flowing. To understand how it does this and appreciate it fully, it's worth knowing how data traditionally travels to and from your home network. When data travels from your home, it heads to a central hub for your local area, which we call an exchange. This exchange receives all the data traveling to and from your home via your line. However, your line can only process and delegate so much data at any given time. Whilst exchanges deliver the data onto the next destination as fast as they can, packets that arrive before they can be processed begin to form a queue. This results in a brief wait time before the packet makes its way to the destination. The wait is usually only milliseconds long though, which is not really an issue. If you're watching Netflix, you probably wouldn't even notice it. The same if you have to wait an extra half a second or so for a website to load. But if you're gaming, that half a second can make all the difference. This is where QoS comes in. QoS stands for quality of service and is a tool offered by many routers which try to reduce queuing. However, they cannot eliminate it entirely. Duma OS though has advanced QoS capabilities that allow for much more efficient queue management, resulting in a much smoother feeling online experience. The primary difference in Duma OS QoS is its patented congestion control. By reducing the total bandwidth slightly, the queue happens at the router rather than at the exchange itself. Obviously, we cannot force the exchange to prioritize any specific traffic. Exchanges operate on a first come first serve basis. Duma OS though can kind of create the same effect by controlling the queue before the data is even sent by the router. This means that small latency sensitive traffic such as gaming and video calls can jump the queue, be sent and received first, which keeps lag as low as possible on your network. So the next question is, how do we tell the router to prioritize certain packets? This comes down to something called deep packet inspection or DPI for short. By identifying and recognizing specific packet traits, Duma OS can categorize a packet and know whether it belongs to gaming, Zoom, Netflix, or many other applications and categories. Once the packets are identified, we then have the ability to decide which packet should be treated as high priority. Data will essentially travel to the exchange in one of three lanes. First, you've got the high priority lane. Duma OS pushes these packets to the front of the queue to keep the latency as low as possible. Think of things such as online gaming and Zoom, things that are latency sensitive. Then you've got the general lane, general traffic that kind of falls outside of the high priority category. This is the majority of traffic, kind of the default lane for things such as web browsing, social media, and amongst other things like that. And then of course, beyond that, we have the low priority lane. This is traffic that isn't urgent and can be sent without impacting your experience at all. Things such as analytics, for example. At this point, you probably think this all sounds a little bit too good to be true. So here's some evidence to show you how effective it can really be. The queue reduction after packets have been sent in order of priority is very significant. It's easy to see when you compare a network that's running Duma OS against one that isn't. Here we have two graphs one showing latency without QoS and one with Duma OS QoS enabled. We filled both these networks with traffic, maxing out their connections. Without QoS, this leads to a volatile latency thanks to the exchange's lack of stable queue management. When Duma OS starts to manage the queue instead, not only does latency become incredibly stable, but the average latency drops dramatically to a smooth 15 milliseconds. The results are impossible to deny. Duma OS's patented congestion control and QoS ability eliminate queuing on a completely different level to anything else around. If you want to see a more detailed tutorial on QoS and how to get it set up, check out our channel page for the video titled QoS, The Ultimate Guide. That's gonna be all for today's video, folks. Hope you found it helpful. We'll see you next time.